fear is connected to the fight or flight response and that it's a, sort of a, a nervous system response that's characterized by a rush of adrenaline that's meant to quickly make you react and decide if you are going to fight this danger or flee this danger. This is something that we have inherited, this has been biologically selected for because it proved useful to our survival in more dangerous times. When we were running through the savannas of Africa and a tiger suddenly lunged from the forest, you needed quick fight or flight. Can I take this tiger or do I run from this tiger? But it needed to be instantaneous, almost like a reflex. So I think fear is tapped into that. We all know that and we all have felt afraid in our lives and it's a feeling that in many ways you think we want to avoid. We want to avoid fear, that, that, that panic and anxiety, we want to avoid it. On the other hand, we've kind of like hacked our own nervous system response and because we have this very meta brains, we have this ability to create these contexts in which we simultaneously can scare ourselves while knowing that we're safe. The appeal of scary movies. I want a scary movie to freak me the hell out because on a meta level, I know everything's fine. We can hack into the fight or flight response and enjoy the rush of fear if we know that that fear is in a safe context. Thus the appeal of skydiving, haunted houses, scary movies. I think it's amazing because it's a testament to our ingenuity. We've infused our own fight or flight response with narrative. Fear now has a sort of extended consciousness to it. We're so smart, we hack our own like engineering designs. It's amazing.